Hey guys, so this is going to be a discounted grocery store haul. I had gone the other day and I found some of these sausages, which that's about all I found that day. And my kids really did like them. So I went today trying to hope, you know, hoping to find these um, sausages, which I did. I found two more bags and they were $3.99 as you could see. They are Jones Dairy Farm um, from Wisconsin, I think it is. Um, 18 pork sausage patties, there's 5 grams of protein, no nitrates, no MSG, no preservatives, and they're gluten free. Am I any of that? No, but they were really, they were actually really good. And most importantly, my kids like them. And $3.99 is a better price than I even pay at grocery outlet. So yes, I took the last two bags that they had. We got a pizza probably gonna make it for dinner and I have some salad which I'm not very excited about turning on my oven because it's like a hundred degrees outside granted I am like blowing my my air is on pretty much all day and night but that doesn't mean I want to turn on my oven but I'm going to have to so that's that and that was $2.99 I got these little Debbie um, cherry fruit pies there's eight individually wrapped pies for $1.29 and I think that's as far as I got for food this time. There wasn't very much. But that store, that's how it is. It's bits and pieces. I mean, it's kind of like grocery outlet. But I think, uh, I, I don't want to say it's, I like it better than grocery outlet. They're kind of, to me, they're the same. But you kind of go in there not knowing really what you're going to find. It's kind of like the 99 cent store, basically. Like, you don't know what you're going to find that day. Um, going on to the non um, grocery store like non food items I got some of these erasers for my kids and these were a dollar and you know that is a really good brand the same thing I found some pencils and they're 48 pencils that same brand and those things are pricey this brand particularly I just bought my kids some chubby pencils which I call them chubby pencils because they're like thicker pencils um, and they're best like especially if you have little ones um, and a pack I want to say of four pencils might even be two pencils they were like $3.99 just because they came with a sharpener and I can only seem to find them this time of the year like back to school so I looked these up Staples had them for 11 and change which I thought it was insane so $1.99 for 48 pencils. I got two, so my kids are stocked up. So this will be going in their school pile. And then did I mention, I did not mention the ketchup. I skipped right over the ketchup. Um, we needed some more ketchup. So this is 38 ounces of ketchup, Heinz tomato ketchup for $1.99. And this is probably one of the items that I'm going to try to see how much it is at Costco because I recently got a Costco membership. I do have a Costco haul that is like a month old. I might, might not upload it because that day it was kind of hectic. That's the day I got my membership and then I went in and got a couple things and left because it was like a Saturday midday <clears throat> and I honestly got overwhelmed and I left. Um, but this is the one thing I might have to look into because we go through a lot of ketchup and a lot of ranch. So that's that. So that is all the food items. Moving on to toiletries, this is the Old Spice Bare Love Body Wash in the 32 ounce. I looked this up at Target. I paid $4.99 for this big old jug and I have two boys, mainly one teenager that needs manly body wash, not girly floral. He needs man body wash, so this is why I buy this. Um, and I will honestly, I don't mind the smell, I will use it too but I prefer my Olay stuff. Um, but this was $7.49 at Target's website versus $4.99, so I did get two two of these. Talking about manly um, deodorant, which TMI, I also use this. I don't mind the scent. It does not smell manly. Um, this is the Old Spice 30% bigger. Um, <laughs> I'm looking at the label now. 30% bigger is better. Haha. -ha. Um, this is a 3.4 um, deodorant. I looked these up. These were $3.99 up to four something depending on the site. Um, and I paid $1.99 each. So I got four. This is the Timber. And this is in the Wolf Thorn. 
can't pronounce that, but I got four of these. So between me and my 15 year old will use those. And then this is probably my second um, favorite purchase. I love Aussie three minute miracle um, conditioner. And when I saw this, I just about went backwards because this was $3.99 for 16 ounces. This is, so I paid $3.99 it's like $4.99, $5.99, depending on when you look at it. Um, and it has a pump. I usually, they also had the eight ounce containers, which I have one of those in my shower. If you saw what I have in my shower currently, I have one of the smaller like squeezy tubes, which I don't like that design. Well, I like it and I don't because I have to store it with the cap up so my kids don't go and like squeeze it and there goes my conditioner. So I store it with the lid, the cap up. So when I have to use it, I kind of have to shake it. I know it's not a big deal, but if it comes with a pump, it's a thousand times better. And this is like a deep conditioner, blah, blah, blah. I use it every day and I love it. This is probably my favorite all time conditioner. So I did kind of go crazy and I bought four bottles at $3.99. I was like, yes, I will purchase that. Keep in mind, I still have a pretty good stock on the 8 ounce squeezy tube, so I will probably go through those before I start some of these. Um, but yeah, this is like my favorite hair conditioning. And then I found these, and I almost didn't buy them because the expiration date is September of 2018. But there's only 60 um, soft gels, so if I start them today, today is August 2nd. I, I will be able, if I remember to take it every day, which, you know, I will have to, because they expire September 2018, so I will try to drink them every day, August and September, and they will be gone. These are the Glow by Nature's Made Skin Moisture, helps with skin smoothness, smoothness firmness, um... Firmness, where am I? Supple, suppleness. Um, how support skin hydration in as little as 15 days. I looked these up and these are anywhere from 13 to 15 bucks a bottle. Um, so hopefully, and then the first thing I look up, just as a TMI, FYI, the first thing I look up when I buy any kind of vitamins is it does not have biotin. And I know biotin is like awesome for your skin, hair, and nails which that's all great and dandy. But a while back, I learned my lesson the hard way. I was taking straight biotin and I was taking a very low dose because it goes by dosage, um, like MGs, like a thousand. I think they start like a thousand and it goes all the way up to like, I don't even know, 3000, I don't even know. But I started at a really low dosage and let me tell you that wrecked my skin for like two to three months I started breaking out like I was hitting puberty and it was awful and all I can think of was the biotin and a lot of people kept telling me just wait it out just wait it out it's probably your skin your body kind of um, purging and I'm like mm, no I don't think so so I didn't wait it out. I actually contacted the company. I don't remember what brand at the time I was taking the biotin. And I ended up returning it to the company and they ended up reimbursing me because I don't remember if I bought them at like Walmart or Target. They wouldn't return them. They wouldn't refund me. So I ended up having to contact the company. I was like my main area, and I'm sorry I'm going on a tangent, um, my main area of breaking out is my chin area and I broke out like nobody's business. It was horrible. So now every time I buy any kind of supplement, I make sure to make sure it does not have biotin at all. So I'm gonna give this a try. Hopefully I don't regret it, but I, I should be good because there's no biotin. So long story for a bottle of vitamins. Last thing is they were fully stocked and if I could have afforded it, I would have cleared them out because this is the only um, dish soap that I love. It is more pricey than, you know, your average dish soap, Dawn. 
I like this one. I like the blue one. I do not like the platinum one. That one sucks for some reason. It's not the same formula as this one or the blue one. I know it's dish soap. Big deal. But believe me, I mean, I have a dishwasher, but I still enjoy washing dishes. I know it sounds crazy. And I'd rather spend the extra bucks and get the Dawn than get the cheap soap. Then I'm going to go through it really quickly because it's not making bubbles and it's not cleaning my dishes so i prefer the dawn this is the 70 or 56 um 56 ounce and this is the apple blossom scent and this was 5.99 i still have about that's why i didn't really go crazy this time because i still have about i want to say anywhere from six to eight bottles in my back like stockpile closet so that's why I didn't go too crazy, but I'm happy they brought this back because I had not seen this in a while that I had gone a couple times to the store. So this time I only grabbed two, but if they're there next time I go, I will just keep buying a couple bottles at a time. So anyway, I hope I didn't bore you to death. I just thought I figured I showed you guys what I found because this store, it's kind of a hit and miss. Like I said, the other day I literally just walked out with a bag of pork sausage and there was nothing else and then today I found all of this stuff which majority is like you know toiletry stuff but this stuff will keep me from spending more money down the road when I need this stuff at like Target and Walmart that's my motto maybe a little crazy for some people but that's my motto so anyway so I hope you guys enjoyed this um, grocery discount grocery haul and I will talk to you guys soon Bye.